My name's Davida Shensky, and the title of this program is Live Without Limits, Reach Personal Success on a Daily Basis. Our purpose is to talk to you about issues surrounding mental health and psychology, anything that keeps you from setting and achieving goals. And today's presentation is titled How Codependence Anonymous Step One Helped Me to Surrender. Codependency is a term that indicates an unhealthy relationship with another person. That person can be your partner, friend, or family member. Over the years, I heard many people talk about feeling stuck in a toxic, unhealthy relationship with their partner. There may be alcohol or drug involved in the relationship, or perhaps not. Either way, it's good to get familiar with codependency and then take steps toward overcoming it. I know for me, it took a great deal of educating myself on the issue of working the 12 steps associated with Codependence Anonymous with a sponsor. The good news is that there is hope in working through this. You can journey toward self-love and toward healthy relationships. Codependence Anonymous, step one. We admitted that we were powerless over the others. I'd like to discuss step one of the Codependence Anonymous today as it is the most important step. We admit it. We were powerless over others, that our lives had become unmanageable. Step one was challenging for me at first, and I did not want to think that my attitudes and actions caused my life to become unmanageable but I hit my emotional rock bottom. I had no idea how to deal with overwhelming emotions. I never learned as a child to do so. Finally, I admitted that I was really powerless over everything and my emotional life was out of control. You see, I started surpassing my emotions in childhood and kept resisting them because the pain felt so uncomfortable and scary. It wasn't until a traumatic event in my mid-30s triggered those memories and the old wounds that I realized I had actually suppressed them. A divorce and the realization that my kids were hurt as a result of my decision that spiraled me into an emotional state, which was to me a new one, trying to control others so we feel safe. Step one, admitting that I was powerless over others made me realize that I'd spent a good part of my life trying to control others so that I would feel safe and secure. The problem with this is that deep inside, I never really did feel safe and secure, no matter what I did or didn't do. When I was young, I tried to be the good girl so that my mom would feel better and she suffered from major depression. When I was raising my children, I tried to make sure my kids were super happy because when they were happy, I was happy. Then after the divorce, I tried to please my new partner because it was their approval that made me feel temporary happiness. All of those behaviors set me up for pain seeking the approval and love for others set me up for disappointment 
It set me up for an unmanageable life because I struggled with codependency. Surrender. Step one is the foundation for the other steps. This is the step where you get to own your reality. You take responsibility for your life and emotions. You take responsibility for your own happiness instead of relying on someone else. You surrender. When I surrender to the reality that most of my emotions were negative, I gave room for my higher power to help me learn how to process those emotions so that I can feel authentic, happy emotions like peace, joy, and contentment. I've learned that when I am trying to control my emotions, life based upon other people, I will suffer from anxiety and depression. Codependence can really be termed external dependence as we reach out to try to gain self-worth. It doesn't work that way. Journey inward. Step one reminds me to look within for healing serenity and joy. It reminds me that I really am powerless over everyone else, the feelings, their moods, and what they think of me. And I don't have to do one single thing to try to sway them one way or the other, just so I can feel good. I can look at or to myself and my higher power for that unconditional love and security. When I begin to feel anxious or sad, I have to remind myself that I am responsible for my emotions and life. So I'm learning that when such feelings come, to sit with them for a minute, listen to them, acknowledge them, and then let them go. Sometimes I'll go and do something that I enjoy or listen to something motivational. Sometimes I will put on a funny show or mediate. It used to be I could never really find anything fun to do. I was way too serious. I've discovered some things that I really enjoy doing. Step one requires honesty. I wish I would have been able to come to terms with this step much sooner in my life as I would not have experienced and caused so much pain in myself and others. Codependence Anonymous, overcoming codependency. Working step one of Codependence Anonymous seriously is a powerful catalyst for personal transformation and freedom. Be by honesty, acknowledging codependency and embracing the need for change. We can embark on a journey of self discovery and growth. Step one prompts good self reflection, empowering us to confront our patterns of behavior with honesty and openness. Through this sincere commitment, we gain important insights into the underlying emotions, drivers of codependency, setting the stage for healing and personal empowerment. Embrace step one wholeheartedly, knowing that you possess the strength within to overcome codependency, cultivate healthier relationships, and embark on a path of authenticity and balance. And we 
often don't realize just how bad a unhealthy relationship is not on, just on us, but what it's teaching our children. And the only way to help them live a better life and a healthier life is to find a way to build a healthy relationship yourself.